Oh my god, it's episode 12. Oh, fuck yeah. What's up, dog? Chilling, man. What you up to? Uh, it's funny, I just got an email from my girlfriend about... It, it, she kept, I guess, the emails from when we first met. Oh, she did that. Because I sold her a car, so it's like yeah. forwarding back and forth, like financing and all that. And then I invited her to come to a comedy show. She sent you those emails. <laughs> well, she she was like, we met four years ago today. Oh, nice. Or Thursday. And uh, it's funny because at the end of it, I invited her to come see me open for Louis Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably so stoked on it. I was like, yeah, you should come see it. With Louis and then I got there, and he was like, no profanity. I was like, ah, fuck. What a, really? Yeah. Damn, that sucks. And then he told me he jerked off to me. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right before I went on stage. <laughs> oh, before you went on. Right like, before jerk. I went on on the last show, he was like, I want you to know I jerked off to you last night in the hotel room. And if we like hadn't talked the whole weekend. I was like, <laughs> cool, man. He was like, good luck. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and he made you be clean, too? Yeah. What a dick. Yeah, it sucked. It's actually kind of funny he jerked off to you. He probably did jerk off to you, too. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I also heard he's actually hilarious. Yeah, he probably is. So he was definitely just fucking with me, which is really funny. That is hilarious he did that. And I probably was horrible. Oh, I mean, it was your first gig? It was like four years ago. Damn. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, it's funny to see how gay I was in those emails. Oh, dude, every every th- yeah, every yeah message oh. I send to a girl, like the first time meeting her, it's oh. just like the biggest fucking dork ever. I know it too. I'm sending it. I'm like, I'm so fucking... There's, there's two sides to every fucking dude. Yeah. And the fucking... The side of him talking to chicks is just so gay. I'm t- I've, dude, I've said it before. It's your ice zero. It's your sub zero ice thing. You just yeah. like, send out this fake version of yourself, and yeah. they're like, eventually they're like, Psh, and smash it. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm the, disgusting. The first thing that smashes it is that first hard fart you hit in front of her. Oh yeah. <laughs> before that, I, I remember when we were together, like I was hiding dumps. <laughs> were you really? Yeah. Fuck yeah. When we that's started. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I'm gonna get in the shower. Rip just randomly. <laughs> just middle of the... We're just watching a movie at my house. She's like, you know what? I, like, I'm, I'm feeling a little... watching Rambo 2 at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. You're like, I gotta get a shower. <laughs> oh my God. Come out. My hair's dry. <laughs> just took a shit. Same clothes. Just, whenever I jerked off in the shower at my parents' house, I'd like come out with my hair not dry. I'm like, oh, fucking... I'd like go in and fucking wet it in the sink. Oh, nice. I used to... That's, all I, that's the only place I could jerk off. That's how every room. kid does it. Yeah. Get in, in the, the shower. shower. I remember I used to like I used to think I was getting away with it, and I would tell my parents to be like I I vividly remember telling my mom like in like seventh or eighth grade be like it's been a long day I think I'm just gonna take a long shower <laughs> <laughs> like they didn't know I'd be in there for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and then one day I was getting pizza with my sisters and one of them was like you know mom and dad know you're jerking off in the bathroom right every time you shower I was like what <laughs> no I'm not <laughs> I got caught jerking off on my little brother really he was too young it was embarrassing he was too young to understand like what jerking he was like five <laughs> so he just hurt I used to use Vaseline and jerk off when Ew. I was younger it feels so good I used to yeah, use Vaseline I fucking know but your hand's <laughs> compromised for like 72 hours you have like a slick hand <laughs> it's like you were bowling <laughs> so, I would like, and it's noisy too it's a noisy lube so I'd be in there and just be like and my little brother told my other brother who was older he was like Matt was in the bathroom and all I heard was <laughs> so he didn't know what it was and my brother told me and I just beat the shit out of my little brother I said, fuck you dude ever tell that one I didn't tell you him. beat him off thank goodness I beat he the didn't shit even out know of what you were doing I beat the shit out of him dude. holy and then fuck I caught, and then like two weeks later I caught my older brother jerking off <laughs> <laughs> he was bent over the I'll never forget it he was like Bent down over the bathtub and he's red hair, so I just see like these red pubes and this boner, and I was like, <laughs> he's like, oh, I was washing my hair. <laughs> I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> I had a friend. <laughs> he's fully erect. Wash. That's even worse if you have a full boner washing your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend. Uh, I think we were like freshmen in high school, and I called his house, and uh, 
when I called his house, they were like, oh, he's in the shower. Yeah. And at first, I just remembered that. Because when I called, he never showered. He always smelled bad. Yeah. <laughs> so it stuck with me. I, when I called him earlier that day, he was in the shower. And then he got to my house. And right when he got to my house, he was like, you mind if I get in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> what, you want to jerk off in your house? Yeah. So I knew he was jerking off. So I waited like 10 oh. minutes and then popped the lock and swung over the door. <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> and he was laying in his back of the shower. Oh. he fucking, when I scared him, because I could see him hanging out of the shower like the curtain was off. And he fucking ripped the curtain down. Oh, my God. And he was like, don't tell anyone, because I had a bunch of friends over. We were in the basement. And he was like, don't tell anyone. I was like, I won't. <laughs> I just walked downstairs. So I was like, I just caught him jerking off. <laughs> That's the best, dude. If you ever get to catch anyone jerking off, you give it a second. Oh, yeah. And then go, what are you doing today? <laughs> oh, my God. I got a... Uh, <laughs> this is another great one. A friend of mine and I, we were in the... Dominican Republic his parents took us on a nice vacation <laughs> and he was jerking off the whole time he kept taking those hour long showers yeah and you know yeah I was a master you're of that D- too. You're, the, you're in the DR I was too, like dude. listen dude stop jerking off in the shower like I knew he was and he was like I'm not doing that and I was like yeah you are definitely he was like, are. no I'm not stop <laughs> so then finally the last day we were there he was taking one I was like alright I'm gonna get him <laughs> and I swung over the door to the shower and he wasn't in there. <laughs> the shower was empty. It was on, but it was empty. The bathroom was empty. What I was, was like, doing? what the fuck? There's this huge wardrobe closet on the <laughs> other side of the bathroom and I opened that real slow and he was in the back of it sitting on a fucking trunk like, naked sure. like oh. playing with his dick. <laughs> and he didn't see me so I stood there and I was just like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> He's like, <"Whoa." laughs> That's horrible. It's so funny. I definitely jerked off in all my friends' houses growing up. I had to do it. I like always had to do it. And every yeah. someone yeah, had yeah, me at yeah. their house. At one point, I went to the bathroom and jerked off every single I time. I think I was. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just I definitely did that. My my <laughs> my cousins used to rent a beach house, and they had like they had a full on walk in shower. It was like a walk in yeah. locker shower. The whole thing. It was like a room that was just a shower. And I used to rip the most insane fucking beats in there. Like, I would go in there and be like, I can't wait to jerk off in that walk-in shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think my friends, we were pretty open about it. Jerking off? Yeah, you'd just be like, nah, I'm going to jerk off. Yeah, I mean, it was... I pretty much jerked off of myself, but there was a... Uh, you know, I didn't... There was times where I'd tell people, like, I got to fucking... Hey, you know what? I was kind of guarded about it. I wouldn't... I would typically sneak off and do it. Now that I think about it, that wasn't something yeah. I like. Yeah, came a couple to guys like that, the kid who said he needed to shower at my house. Yeah, sneak off and fucking rip it. It's kind of it's better when it's secret. It's funny that he said I need to shower when he got to my house. Yeah, I mean that's just like a blatant like just tend to take a dump, dude. Yeah, there was oh, yeah. a. Don't tell anyone. Just go up to the bathroom. Take a dump, dude. But there was a, there was a big, there there was a big scandal at one point uh, in my cousin's house across the street. There was this porno that circulated back and forth between our house. It was a v- VHS. It was called Spanish Fly 14. <laughs> my, my cousins were the first ones to somehow get it. So they were like, <laughs> there was a three of them. They were supposed to be babysitting. Their parents were out. So they're all like older than me. So there's the three of them just watching a VHS porn downstairs with the fucking <laughs> the door open. So <laughs> my one cousin runs, hits the stop button on the VCR. He runs upstairs. My other cousin hits the button again to like pop the video out. And his Ajax was the third in line. So rather than grabbing the video and just running, he just stood in front of the VCR with his hands behind his back. <laughs> and his parents came in. They're like, what are you doing? He was like, Nothing. We were just watching TV, and they're like, "What do you got there?" And he's like, "Nothing." And my aunt Marsha put it in, and this, it was like a, it was like literally they made them all come down and they put it in there, and it was like a fucking like hardcore like hairy pussy penetration scene. Whoa. Yeah, like a seven. It was like an old porno. So like the, she was like Jesus Christ, and they like smashed it, and all three of them had to pick crabgrass for like the next month. <laughs> <laughs> that was their punishment. <laughs> they were they were grounded for like a month for jerking so, off for watching porn. Yeah, that's you can't bring that filth into her house. She's a holy woman. My dad was calling him the Three Musketeers. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, Ajax blew it. <laughs> he, did. he shit the bed. Oh man! I mean, they all collectively shit the bed. He just should have ran, but he just stood there and was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh, dude, I, I remembered my life hack I talked about in the last episode and forgot. I, I remembered what it was. Just contesting all your credit card charges. 
Oh, nice. I, I do it for like stuff. Any kind any kind of subscription. I just I'm like even if I agreed to pay the subscription, I'm just like nope. And I just like I, I canceled this months ago. You send an email to the subscription and then you just cancel on your credit card. I just saved myself fifty five bucks. Nice. All the listeners out there. Do what Matt does. Yep, dude. Especially if contest you contest all charges. Especially if you're weak one night and you get it on a webcam site, contest it. They'll give it back to you. Really, dude? I've you get on webcam sites and pay I've, people. I've done it twice, and I'll never do it again. But like, I've gotten like drunk. And I like, always <laughs> see. That's another one. You, I always wonder who the fuck these people are <laughs> paying in Bitcoin for some lady to finger herself. I heard about it, and I was like, that's so dumb. And then one night I was drunk, and I was like. I'll try it out, and I, like I did it, and I'm like, it's fucking. You just, you just give like forty dollars. It just like some girls on the other end, like, bring, bring, and they just like looking at you, and you're like, get naked, and they're just like, hello, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're down forty five bucks, and you're like, it sucks. We used to, we used to get on the free my webcam free sites and yeah. uh, make the ladies say my one friend's dad's name. <laughs> And we would film it and send it to him. <laughs> I just remember it. She'd be like, Bill. <laughs> she oh, would say so his full funny. name. Oh, That's man. fucking sick. Yeah, that one is weird that you did. And also, the you clicked on the fucking game. The game, dude. That's it it so wasn't funny. the demons. It wasn't the demons. Either way, it's a cartoon chick getting fucked, and you were like, I wanted to see if the game would make me come in five minutes, dude. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> it was just fucking Age of Empires. <laughs> <laughs> My. Dude, I get, when I get on internet, I, I've chilled out on the internet porn, but like you, I'll get into a vicious porn hole where I'm just like just clicking this to that. Next thing I know, I'm like, where the fuck did I end up? Yeah, didn't you? Uh, you had a porn problem, didn't you? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I fucking cut it out. I had a bad porn problem. <laughs> I'm a porn addict, dude. I remember there was like an MTV True Life of like I'm addicted to porn. Yeah. And dudes would just sit there for like three hours a day watching porn. Yeah, it was never that bad, but I would. That's weird I, would, as I, would fuck. I used to watch porn in the morning. Like I'd be eating cereal and I'd just like watch porn on my laptop and eat really? cereal. I just watch it and eat cereal and then like shut it and go to class. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Yeah, I just would be like, well, check out some porn because I would see what's. I would be like, I'm gonna jerk off later today. Let me scout out what's like any new vids so that way I can get right into them. Damn, <laughs> yeah. that's pretty good. I know. I mean, if you put it that way, it's not so bad, but it's kind of sickening. It's weird to be eating cereal and watching porn yeah I'm, I'm trying to be porn free totally if i if i'm not you know jerking off to it porn by itself is pretty fucking weird it is weird it's bizarre you know you know if i'm not going after it i'm just thinking about like the lady and her life how yeah shitty the dude probably is dude, how shitty both those people probably are it sucks it does it sucks dude it's but. a weird way to start your day yeah, but dude, but you know, I was just in my head. I was just like, "Fuck yeah, your, uh, I'm gonna jerk off this later." What was your go-to choice of cereal? What was I eating? Probably the Kashi at the time. We <laughs> 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 eat Kashi. Fuck, it's Kashi. <laughs> Some weird cereal. It's like, is it Korean? No. Oh, it's a Kashi. It's a Kashi. It's a Kashi. Now nah, Kashi kind of sucks. I came to found out. But dude, yeah, that's I. I really want to get off the porn altogether and just humble myself and take what sniz I deserve. Right, I'm about to nice. go on like a serious, just only chubbies, dude. Only chubby chicks? Just chubbies. Just chubbies. That's it. That's interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting tactic. Yeah. Just whatever I deserve <laughs> is that, right is now. Is that something you're going to go with? That's my new thing. You're only fucking chubby chicks. Just chicks I deserve. What do you mean by chicks you deserve? Well, there's always like a way when you're dating to kind of make yourself seem like, oh, I'm not, I just tell girls, I'm like, I only want to have sex. So the only girls that will put up with that... Are chubbies and like <laughs> <laughs> like big heads. I had a string of big heads for a while in college. Chicks with big ass fucking heads. <laughs> that's that's what I deserve right now. That's my caliber. Only big like, heads and chubbies. Big heads and chubbies. <laughs> moon faces, dude. Moon faces. <laughs> big nose, big chin, moose, moon face. <laughs> That's what I deserve. That's my caliber. You ever, combo? You ever get a chubby moon face? Oh yeah, dude. I had a, <laughs> I, had a moon I had a period in college where for some reason the only thing I attracted were big headed Latina nerds. It How many? Two. <laughs> but <laughs> still, I was gonna say, it was two at once. I had two big headed Latina nerds at once. Wow. Not at the same same time, but like they were my babes. That's but I'm going back to my roots, dude. What, just big headed, as I deserve. Big-headed, moon-faced chubbies? Yep. I just tell them straight up, I'm like, all I want is a lover. And they're like, okay. <laughs> I was talking to a girl last night, I'm like, but it's in like a Shakespearean sense. Like, it's really classy. And she's like, all right, uh, 
When do you want to hang out? <laughs> Jeez, man. I would love to see those fucking Tinder dates. Dude. I'm only looking for a lover. Dude, I, I'm, I'm being honest, dude. I'm not playing these games of like, yeah, you know what? Like, it's so funny because girls will tell you about guys. Like this other guy my friend's dating is an asshole. He doesn't want anything serious. And I'm like, yeah, what a dick. What <laughs> a fucking asshole. That's that's where you need a good moon face to come in. A moon face, she knows. dude. Even a, just a nice big chubby dude just be like, yeah, you know, I'm just go, I'm going with the flow. That's what they say now. What, the chubby? I had someone be like, well, let's just go with the flow and see where it goes. I'm like, there's a big waterfall and it's 50-foot drop. <laughs> and she was like, you're a dick. That's <laughs> why so I'm getting no ass right now. <laughs> yeah, you got to switch that tactic up. I refuse. I refuse to paint myself as some sort of like, yeah, no, let's just see what happens. I'm like, I know what's going to happen. I'm moving in a year and, you know. In your moon face. Shit's going to <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get better sniz. The universe is going to reward me when I get better at my craft. Dude, if I explain this shit to chicks, they're like, what? Yeah, if you say the universe is going to reward me when I get better at my craft. <laughs> so now I'm fucking moon faces. <laughs> I gotta fuck moon faces until I get good at stand up. <laughs> There's actually a thing in the Kama Sutra that says you should practice sex on like uglier women to like control your stamina, I swear to God. <laughs> it's pretty funny. For a guy who hates Asians, you, you sure do have a strong ties to Asia and I Eastern do. practices. I do I I'm very Eastern. You are. I, I'm way into the Kama Sutra, especially that passage just practicing on fucking <laughs> Practicing on ugly chicks. <laughs> Especially, imagine that written, when was that, 1,500 years ago in India? I don't know when the Kama Sutra was written. I'm just guessing 1,500. I'm guessing a little bit after Jesus. All right. Or maybe before, I don't know. Either way, imagine, just oh, yeah. say 1,000 years ago in India, the guy being like, fuck the ugly ones. It was probably like, just chicks coming out of the fucking sand. Oh, my God. <laughs> just like four tits. They were like worshipped as gods. All right. What I was listening on? to... Uh, this just reminds me of fucking Rogan. Oh, dude. Those guys are... It sucks when you find out he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I thought he was... Because whenever he's talking about shit I don't understand, I'm like, all right, he probably knows what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. But every once in a while, they'll say something that I know the answer to, and I'm just like, you fucking idiot. That's totally wrong. Yeah. That's so funny. Like, I was actually thinking to myself this morning, we should just make this a companion podcast to the Rogan experience. That'd be sick. <laughs> ah, you were pretty close. Uh, never mind. What? Kama it Sutra. was 400 BC. Some, okay. It was composed between 400 and 200 AD. 400 BC and 200 AD. So it There's took a lot 600 of, years. Yeah. That makes sense. It's a lot of different... It's like the Bible. Yeah, it is. That That is my... That's my Bible, dude. The Sutra. <laughs> It's like, it's page one, put a finger in her butt. <laughs> <laughs> Took a guy a century. Dude, it's so funny because I use maybe three sex positions. That's it. I'm not like, all that other shit is like, yeah, mish, girl on top, doggy <laughs> style. <laughs> <laughs> Missionary, girl on top, doggy style. I do all three every single time, and that's a wrap, dude. Fuck yeah, man. This is really cool that you're letting the listeners in on that. That's what I do. All three every time. St having sex standing up is for... Gay men. <laughs> nice man. This anyway. is another fucking erotic. Podcast. I know, dude. I've been having. There's look, been a couple. Podcasts. I have it all trapped in me, dude. That's it's my only outlet for my sexual energy is the podcast now, since no one will touch me. <laughs> yeah, dude. You gotta go find a fucking Latina moonface. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we should make a companion to the road. The Rogan. Uh, we should just start following up. I was episode. listening to the one of him and Tony Hinchcliffe, and there. First off, he was calling him Freddie Roosevelt. Was he really? Yeah, he was like whatever the guy's name was. Uh, the president, Freddie, Freddie Roosevelt. Who right? was this? Rogan. Ro really? And no one in the room could correct him. Damn. And then he was wondering why countries have weird names. He was like, why do they call like the country of Yugoslavia? Why is it called Yugoslavia? And I'm just like, all right, well, that's not a fucking country. You know what is an interesting thing about him that I think people don't realize is that he started smoking weed like when he was like 30. So you, like when you start smoking weed, usually you're in high school, and you have that's that's what I'd think about in high school. You like, get all where did all these names thoughts come out. from? That's I listen to his podcast. I'm like, oh, this guy is just starting to smoke weed, so he's all these dumb, annoying pothead thoughts. You that's get them funny. out of your system. I swear to God, I realized that early on listening. I'm like, he's like, I didn't smoke weed till I was like 34. I'm like, that's why you're so obsessed with like aliens and Bigfoot at 45 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had Alex Jones on. It was actually really funny to listen to. 
Well, he was trying to check him. He was like, all right, dude, like, let's stick to the facts. Yeah, he Jones was. Jones was like, fuck that. <laughs> Alex Jones got a little fucked up. He was hammered. Was he really? Yeah, he got hammered by the end of that. And he's like, listen, the pedophiles and the vampires are coming for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> that must be fun, getting that fucking guy hammered and being like, all right, dude, have at it. <laughs> okay, dude, yeah. Let's hear it. And uh, this guy named Eddie Bravo was on it, who's Did also you get you a guys? fucking idiot. Whoa, dude. Yeah, yeah, they were both like, he would say, he's like, now listen, the pizza gate, they emailed him, and they said, we want 50,000 hot dogs. <laughs> and Joe Rogan was like, whoa, man. <laughs> it's like, what are they saying? Like, there's definitely code there. There's code there. And I was in my car, just like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. That yeah, is funny. Was, but there was one episode where he had uh, Sam Harris on. That guy that the guy, atheist. yeah, okay, the yeah. guy who's like, who's apparently he is very smart, but yeah, who O'Connor loves. <laughs> so funny. O'Connor, O'Connor likes him because Sam Harris shits on Islam. <laughs> O'Connor <laughs> just started <laughs> reciting it. <laughs> but uh, at one point they were like, "When when was Abraham Lincoln president?" Uh-huh. And neither of them knew. They were both like, "I don't know, like early 1800s." I fucking know that. It was just like, like you fucking idiot. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. right? Yeah, yeah. Dude, if I'm beating you on historical knowledge, that's bad. That's, yeah. It's I mean, bad. every that's one you should know. Yeah. That's easy, because it's Civil War. Civil War, 1863-ish. Easy. Fuck yeah, dude. 1863. Hell yeah, baby. That's Gettysburg. Fuck yeah. That's nice. Did you drive by the battlefield? I was very close to the battlefield. You could feel it, dude. I could feel it calling to me again. It's like pirate, the new Pirates of the Caribbean, all those like dead oh, soldiers. <laughs> dude, my fucking brother-in-law during the Super Bowl was so... I was like... So they had like the Pirates of the Caribbean thing, and he was like, yes! <laughs> and I was like, are you a fucking idiot? And then they had a Transformers commercial, and he was like, fuck yeah! And I was like, you, you fucking... Are you kidding? You like Transformers? When I saw the new Transformers, I thought that was Mark Wahlberg's Boston movie. <laughs> it's like the city blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> the Sar- what are those brothers? Was it Sarnev? Is that what their last names were? Who? The brothers that did the Boston. I forget. I don't know. Taking just, a shot on that one. I just know Mark Wahlberg stopped. Joe Rogan I know that. Mark Wahlberg stopped them from doing it. Wahlberg shut it down. Man, what a fucking dickhead that guy is for that. Dude, it's only how long's the Boston? It's been what two and a half years, maybe. If that, maybe maybe longer. Three years max since the Boston bombing. Yeah, I don't know. It hasn't been that long. That was like, um, who the fuck bought the rights to Bradley Cooper? He read the American Sniper book and like, you can't make a movie. He's like, I don't care. I'm buying the rights. I'm being this guy. And it's like, all right, you fucking psycho. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's weird. Fuck? It's just like Wahlberg saying if he was on one he of the planes in 9-11, Dude, he would have stopped it. I'll give Wahlberg that. He probably would have. I think he would have fucking freaked out. I don't think Wahlberg would allow that, dude. If you play uh, those many action heroes, he's in his head like... I'm going to grab the gun, kick him. I, yeah, I believe him on that one. They didn't know they were going to crash into a building. Yeah, but they, the knew only, being, they knew they were being hijacked. Yeah, they knew they were being hijacked, so it's like, all right, let's see where they take us and they'll ransom us, which is what they Dude, told the passengers, apparently. I think Wahlberg would have attacked. Well, I think it was all because of that one plane did Yeah, and that's what on happened them. on Flight 93. So it was then, when they found out that they were crashing the planes. Yeah, they were like, oh, well, fuck they were like, this. all right, well, fuck these guys. Yeah. That's what did happen. Somebody did Wahlberg them. He said, let's roll, and he fucking Wahlberg them. Let's roll. That's what he said. Really? It's like the last thing, because somebody was on a cell phone call with the people on it. Dude. And they could hear the one dude say, let's roll. Holy fuck. Yeah, Imagine yeah, yeah. being the guy who, like, fought all them off and got on the cockpit and just steered that thing <laughs> into the fucking ground. Well, he was not trying to steer it into the ground. Oh, really? <laughs> no, he was trying to fucking land it. Oh, he I just, he like... just got into the cockpit and was like, oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. If someone really tried to fucking pull that off. Yeah, I mean, either that or one of the hijackers just crashed it. Said, fuck this. Yeah, yeah, no one knows what happened, I guess. Yeah, I don't think. Jesus Christ. I think there was probably a lot of screaming. Dude, I can't even handle turbulence. If there's a hijacking, I'd be, I'd st- I'd be like, Aah! Nah, you'd go for it. <laughs> yeah. If probably. you knew they were going to crash the plane, yeah, I would. you'd be like, fuck these guys. Yeah. I'm not just going to let them yeah, I'm gonna kill these crash guys. it. And it's yeah, just right. some fucking scrawny fucking dickhead with yeah. a box cutter. He's being right I mean, Don't get me wrong, that would fucking hurt. Yeah, probably wiry fucking guys, dude. Yeah, like, but like... Skinny, long hands, just like, meh. You get like three or four big fucking... Oh, dude, you get a couple what, Central beefy, PA boys, dude, Oh, on them? boy. <laughs> couple camo Cowboys jerseys. <laughs> dude, can you imagine successfully boarding that and then landing and living? It'd be, it would just be the best forever. Yeah, I think it'd be very, very difficult to land a... Yeah. 
I could probably that's where I'd come in, dude. I could probably pilot. You could probably pilot. Definitely. You'd be like snakes on a plane. <laughs> it's like I played the simulator. <laughs> played a lot of Sky Fox, dude. I'd barrel roll that thing down. <laughs> barrel roll it. <laughs> like how come I'm not shooting lasers? Where's the laser button? <laughs> oh, take man. a little breaky? Yeah, we'll take a, take break. a little breaky. Boy, we're back. Oh wow. Are we back? God damn it, dude. That was a good break. That was, it was a, a nice lengthy break. break. It was nice. We usually don't do that. That was good. I forgot I have a nice shout out to Wolfpack from the main board. Damn. It's been a long time listener, dude. Never got a shout out. That's big for the Wolfpack. Wolfpack. <laughs> I'm gonna shout out Nate Chopra again. Oh, yeah. Why not, dude? It's Tuesday. Fuck yeah. What up, Nady? Uh the one guy on the main board was telling me his mom was a fucking yoga instructor. Yeah. He was upset yeah. with the he he was like, I don't think she ever got oogled. Oogles, was, oogles, really? Yeah, I was like, I bet she did, dude. She definitely did. People were staring at that fat old ass your God mom's got. damn, dude. Nothing makes a woman's ass better than yoga. No. It just like... Those yoga pants? <laughs> God bless. God damn it, dude. God bless. Dude, my, fr- my friend went to uh, yoga on Saturday, and he said the teacher had, like, a horrible Delco accent. Oh, my God. <laughs> he said, like, he didn't realize. She was like, you know, she walked in, you know, whatever. And uh, right away you start with like you're like ohm and do that. It's like all right, three ohms, and he was like, oh god, <laughs> down in the shavasana, chaturanga. Yeah, make sure you drink a lot of water. <laughs> all right, get into downward dog, up dog, <laughs> downward dog, <laughs> ohm, ohm. Oh man, it's really funny. It's we're here feeding our spirits or some gay shit like that. Uh, <laughs> she's probably wearing cargo pants. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> she's probably wearing a fucking McNabb jersey. She's wearing South Pole sweats. <laughs> oh man! All right, I'm gonna take a break and smoke a blunt. I'll be back. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah. What you got? What's fucking? What's fired up for the weekend, dude? Or the week? What are you gonna do this week? This week, uh, I don't know. I start at Punchline on Thursday. Hell yeah! It's gonna be Punchline Philly. It's the Mad Dog. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Damn, it'll be wild. That's tight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It'll be good. Yeah. I'm ha- I'm, yeah, it's nice to have fucking something to do. Exactly. Uh, oh, dude, I had a guy come to the Comedy Zone this weekend because he heard me on Bennington. Nice. Yeah, I was that's like, holy sweet. fuck, I can't believe that worked. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, he was like, you said you were going to be opening for Voss at the Comedy Zone. And he was like, I had to be there. I was like, fuck yeah. That's fucking awesome. And I was sitting with Voss. I was like, see, dickhead? Oh, that's <laughs> Told you it so worked. funny. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, it was, it was funny. It was nice because I forget how shitty Central PA is. Yeah. Like, I really do. Like, from living here, and then you go home, and it's like, oh, my God. Yeah. They really are fucking complete dickheads. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, man. But you know, and like rural crowds like that, they don't know how to act in a in a club at all. No, not one. Well, there's whatsoever. no way they go see live performance. Like in the city, people know usually to shut the fuck dude, up. Dude, just saying performance is gay. It's like yeah. don't call it a performance. Yeah, <laughs> dude, my friends call me gay for things that I have no idea. Like I yeah. get made fun of for drinking iced coffee. Yeah. Like, I got an iced coffee, and they're like, what are you, for some reason, they're like, you know, what are you doing? I was like, I just got an iced coffee. They're like, what are you, a faggot? <laughs> Did I not ever talk about this? How, like, my dad and his brothers, I'd work with them. So I'd go out and get coffees for all the laborers, and then, like, I'd bring them back, and if they smelled, like, French vanilla cream or, like, hazelnut, they would stop and be like, who the fuck has French vanilla? It's making me sick. What are you, a fag? Pump, dump that shit out. They, they would get offended. That like they weren't drinking just cream in their coffee. Oh man! The fact that they had a, like a sweetener or a flavor, they're like, "What the fuck?" And they would they would get really angry. Yeah. Like legitimately pissed. My friends like, made fun dang. of me for a while for because there was a coffee shop across from my uh-huh. house and I used to go to it. And they you went to a coffee shop? Yeah. So you were gay. And they were like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and they kept going at the sea shop. They're like, "Yo, Gilly, you're probably chilling at the sea shop." I'd be like, "Shut the <laughs> They've been making fun of me for it for like four years now, That's like so nonstop. Funny, Every day I get a text like just a picture of a coffee shop. <laughs> I didn't know coffee shops were that gay. I mean, I get it if I was in there with like a MacBook. Yeah. Writing poetry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's But like it's I was also, just getting a coffee to go. And yeah, a lot of times the coffee's really good at those places. But it is funny to be is. like, Oh yeah, you're foo foo is like yeah, all right, man. you're at the sea shop. <laughs> I'd go to Dunkin' Donuts, I guess. That's different somehow. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot how shitty they were. And it, it was funny because I kept saying it on, like, I, it's just funny, like, <laughs> around here everyone was like, Hillary's definitely going to win. Yeah. That room I was in was could not have been more pro-Trump. 
Oh, yeah. They were fucking hyped for Trump. That's so funny. Yeah, like it is a, funny switching back and forth, and you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. But you got to pander a little bit. I mean, I wasn't like... I'm not like pro-Trump. Yeah, you don't pander. You'll I don't fucking, pander, you'll, yeah, you'll make but fun. I was you'll like... You fucking idiots. But I was... It, it's always funny to be like... What do you think? The white guys were fucking... <laughs> think the white guys were just going to pack it in? Nah, <laughs> you think they were going to fucking not fucking no vote? No way. The only people that voted were the fucking Comedy Zone crowds. Yeah, 100%. Dude, remember that fucking... They came up red on that thing. It was like, bam, these guys... Your county or whatever. Like, oh, right yeah. Here, was, well, it, it was Lebanon County. Yeah, yeah. There was only one county left in PA. And they swung And they it. were like... Red. Could it be? Could it be Hillary or <laughs> Trump? Like, yeah, and I was like, it's definitely right. Trump. Yeah, dude. It's eleven and count. They literally they have horses. Yeah, it's yeah, Trump. That's true. There's if, fucking. If you're white and you own like four hundred pound animals, dude, you're re- oh, really yeah. going red. Fuck all yeah. times. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it was just funny to see them all get fucking hyped. Like, woo! Fuck oh, it. dude, it's so it's so bizarre to like go from Philly to that and be like, okay, yeah. And it's funny too to be like Philly's this liberal ass city. Yeah, it's really not that. No, it's not. Not like it's not Portland. Yeah, but dude, compared to there, dude. It's but like, there is a m- fucking million white trash here. Oh yeah. Like the Northeast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. South Philly. Yeah, Trump's gonna win. Oh, dude, I did a I did a thing in South Philly on Friday morning when I had to host the Wing Bowl after party. Oh my god, the and Wing Bowl like, after party, <laughs> dude. It was fucking. <laughs> I, I was sitting in there, just like South Philly is just dudes who want to dress like seventh graders forever. It's just like they're. It's all how I dress. It's like silver chain, like cargo pants, and you're like, "What's up, dude?" And like a weed hat. <laughs> so funny. Did you say Ric Flair was there? Ric Flair was in the building, dude. You should have fucking said. Everyone up. was going woo the whole oh, time. That's it awesome. was so funny. The woo is the fucking best, man. Everyone was hitting him. The Ric Flair woo. He was chilling. He was cool. Hitting a crowd with that when they're unhappy with what you said it's is be- so dude, it's fucking the best, funny. It's the best thing I've ever seen. I'll never forget that. how happy I was when Trump got elected and we were at that mic. Oh, my God. I got I got on like right when he won Florida yep. and all that shit. And yeah. I got on. I was like, woo. We're coming Trump, for you. Baby. We're coming for you. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Pussy ass motherfuckers. You didn't think this was going to happen? When I was hosting, I came out like halfway through, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I was hosting that open mic, and I was like, "Holy fuck!" Hillary just got 170 electoral, vote, 270 votes, and everyone started pulling their phones out. I'm like, "Nah, just kidding. Trump's winning anyway." <laughs> <laughs> People were like, yeah, fuck. Oh, uh, that was when O'Connor gave his address right before me. Yep. O'Connor. Oh, like, that was at Medusa. Sucks. That was at Medusa. But you after. did a thing at Helium at too, Helium. right? Yeah, dude, that was the fucking funniest thing in the world. Because it was like guys like me are gonna come fucking grab your pussy ass. And put you in the camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said you better be nice. In fucking January, I'm coming around in a truck. And, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was uh, was very interesting. I forget what the fuck I was just gonna say. Fuck. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. We're at the time, anyway. I think we're pretty good. I think this is a decent cat. Oh, no, good. this is what I wanted to talk Hit about. This fucking, yes. uh, that fucking Hidden Figures movie. Mm. <laughs> How fucking hilarious that is. God so, damn it, Hidden that's funny. Hidden Figures, I didn't see it, but I can, I mean, I, I knew, seen it. I knew what the fuck it was. Yeah. I knew exactly what it was. Yeah. So I fucking just looked it up. Because well, I, I it's knew. About, describe what it's about. It's basically the lady, like the black yeah, lady's space. Yeah, black ladies that. I think it's called Black Ladies Go to Space. <laughs> yeah, it's called Medea Goes to the Moon. <laughs> no, the movie is uh, black women are the smartest and a bunch of white dudes try to stop them from being smart. Yeah. And, uh, no, what, what was she? She was like a great mathematician. Yeah. Who, Physics. She they, helped figure it out. They paint the movie out like they're yeah. like, "Get off my coffee pot! Don't touch my shit!" Like, yeah. Fuck you, so bitch. there's there's a scene in the movie where apparently she has to walk like a mile and a half to go somewhere else to use the bathroom because yeah. she can't. And then I looked it up, and that's totally untrue. NASA did not that's have like the, that's her whites that's only big part in the movie too. That's like the one of the main yeah controversies. She's like walking in the rain, playing like to yeah, use I the saw bathroom. The movie, yeah. She and walked then, through the rain like, we're going to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going straight <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> no, they don't go to the moon. Isn't that about uh, she's sending John a hot, Glenn? She's sending hot guy. The dude's hot as fuck in the movie. Glenn is hot. It's the hottest guy. Yeah. He's like, I'm going. They're like, who should we pick? And he's like, I'm the hottest. And then he I think he just to, died. Did he really? Yeah, he died like two or three R. years R. ago, I think. Um, but yeah, he orbited the Earth, right? He I don't didn't think he, he didn't make go to the it moon. all the way around. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the thing started burning up. It was like in the movie, her exact figure was yeah. what like got him safely. Um, the only thing that's true about that is before the launch, he did 
request that she, she looks said, at it. Yeah. But it wasn't like day of like it is in the movie. It's, it's right? literally like he's about to blast off and he's like, what did she say? And she's like, eh. yeah, and that's no. whatever. That's Hollywood magic. That but like you're like, saying, yeah, they but added no that scene. They added racism to that movie. That's fucked that didn't up, exist. Dude. Yeah, there was like, don't drink my coffee pot, and it was like her yeah. going to the bed, and then like Kevin Costner busts out like a sledgehammer and just like destroys the fucking sign. The whites only sign. Yeah, that's none of that's true. Yeah, I was like, dude, no one's just banging shit around at NASA. Like, you can't, they were like putting holes in walls and shit. And I'm yeah. like, you can't just do that. And uh, these are all fucking scientists and physics and all these fucking guys. Like, you think they're gonna be like, no fucking coloreds? Yeah, like, exactly. No, dude, they all went about, to college and yeah, they're like liberal. What the fuck. That's funny. It was just funny to see them add racism. Yeah, that's fucking insane. Like, I watched... When I watched fucking Django... <laughs> yeah. And even... Uh, what was the other one? The 12 Years seven? a Slave. No, no, not that one. The one he just came out with, Tarantino. Oh, I didn't see it. It's good. It's really yeah. good. But they said the N-word every other fucking word. I know, dude. Like, constantly. And that I was, one I can believe, though. In the no, 1800s? and then if you look it up, it's like they didn't. Really? No, they were. they didn't do that. Like historically, they didn't they say didn't talk the like N word every other fucking word. Really? And I and it's just a weird. I mean, he he's not trying to be historically accurate, it's but just, also yeah. I don't think there's any historical documentation of Mandingo fighting. You know, in Django, when yeah, they yeah, have the two the black dudes black guys, fight yeah. to the death. I could see them doing that. They, I don't think there's any records of that. Huh? So it's kind of like, yeah, white guys are evil. Yeah, I could see us doing that. Yeah, but it's it's hard. Like, do you think like a fucking German watch? Just think about me. I mean, this is this is fucked. But think about like me and my cousins. You guys would have never owned slaves. I mean, we were too. We would have been too poor in our lineage. Yeah, but the, I'm saying say the we percent weren't of population in the United States that owned slaves. Yeah, is was, yeah, exactly. Really low. No, it, exactly. But I'm saying like, just being bored down on like the bayou. You have all these slaves. Like, you don't think they're gonna get them to fight? I don't think. I guess you wouldn't want to hurt them either, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's a weird thing where a lot of those guys, like, oddly enough, treated them well. Not well. Not slope. well. <laughs> not well. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's not, it, what I'm saying is it's not like this fucking, like, we're going to fucking kill them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, that happened, mm -hmm. but not to the level of, like, every fucking Hollywood movie is, like... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and a lot of that, too, is, like, in order to tell a good, you know, yeah, of course, story. Of course. But, yeah, again, it's But like, it's funny because it puts you in a position to be like, eh. It's one thing if you're telling, you're writing an original screenplay, but when you're, like, based off true events and you're, like, just adding shit, it's <laughs> yeah. like, eh. It's and then you gotta sit weird. there as a white dude and be like, you know what? Eh, I don't think it was that bad. <laughs> then you can't say that. Oh, exactly. Then he's like, oh, it's like what? a fucking. Can you imagine, like, a German watching Schindler's List and being like, eh. Nah, we didn't do that. I don't know about that part. Yeah. They just added one part to make us worse. <laughs> it's like we don't need it's any. Like, yeah, like in fucking Hidden Figures. Like, do we really need that? Yeah. Do we need her to walk to the fucking whites only or colored only bathroom? Well, they did though. That movie. We don't need that. That was like the main <laughs> thing. Like, otherwise, that movie would have been boring as fuck. Yeah. It was just like handle these numbers, and she'd be like, okay, and then she like was really good at yeah, it. Yeah, they didn't hide her. She was. It's all documented what she did. That's funny. There's a fucking wing at NASA named after her. Yeah, yeah. Like, it wasn't like this big fucking, we can't let them know we have blacks doing it. No, they weren't hiding her. They were just, like, bossing her and being like, "You, it's classified, you can't see it. Then she'd, like, see it. She'd, like, hold it up to the light and see through, like, the black marker. <laughs> and then she'd be like, well, I solved the problem. And they'd be like, oh, okay. I'm knocking down this goddamn sign once and for all. And it was <laughs> yeah. like, it's kind of remember the Titans-ish. Like dude, the guy that, that, I'm saying, though, that is going, that's the next... I'm not gonna say billion dollar industry, but that's a, like there is a there's definitely a white guilt uh, industry. It's Whole, yeah, Foods. No Whole Foods. It's not next. It's already there. Yeah, but I'm saying it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. Like I go to Whole Foods and that that place is like buy soap with like a little like dying African kid and it's like you can help him with like two cents to his village and people are like, oh good. It's just like this weird thing yeah. that if you can if you can find a white person and make them feel less evil. You can be a rich man. I think that's been around since like fucking the movie Glory. Like it's it's been a long Hollywood. yeah, but I'm saying it's getting like there's t there's like things now. I, I saw an online test to like you can take quizzes to see how racist you are, <laughs> and then like try to act how to tone it down, and it's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, like there's there's gonna be like a racism specialist in like ten years who will like yeah, go to schools sure. and be like, all right, what do you think about this? Like, do our Asians do, do our Asians talk funny? You'd be like, yes. And they're like, no, no, you can't say that. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you, you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like. 
It's just uh, insane to have someone to be like, I tested you. You came up positive for racism. It's like, <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's, it's funny, too, because that's how the outside world, like, views America. Like, because the only thing they get, they're not reading history. Like, other countries yeah. are just watching movies. That's true, yeah. And they're like, wow. Wow. White guys are horrible over yeah, there. But, dude, what <laughs> other countries are watching that saying it? Did you ever hear about Unit 731? No. It was, uh, fuck, man. It, it's, it's a real thing. It's not like a wild conspiracy thing. But it was like the Japanese at one point, I think when they were, like, occupying China. Did they occupy China, like, yeah. the Second World War? Yeah. They set up this thing called Unit 731 where they're doing experiments on, like, citizens. And they was, like, chop people's arms off and, like, see how long it took them to die and, like, freeze their limbs. And they were cutting them open and seeing, like, how long the body could Oh, Oh, you mean, like, other countries can't yeah, talk shit? Yeah, yeah. They're but feeding them, like, by, like, diseases and shit. And here comes the wood, man. Oh, fuck. I should end it. Yeah. Fuck. Eh. We're out. This got a little racist at the no, end. No, it didn't. It was good. Let's take a second break, then we'll come back. All right. All right. <laughs> and we're back. Oh, I took a little break. Matt showed me a nice uh, oh. nice video. That, what's, that, what's that online? Mike? Mike, Is that yeah. what it's called? Yeah, yeah. The title of this video was, Are All White People Racist? Yes, of course. But let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> it was just how white people uh, suck. Basically. But yeah, that, was was, just, that was just the title. Then it was it classic. Explained, it explains like biases that all people have. Yeah. But the title's like white people are racist. Yes. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> I, Christ. I'm telling you, it's an it's an industry, dude. That's like a that's yeah, a commodity right now. It is an industry. It's a commodity. It's been an industry though. It's true. Yeah. And uh, but now the yeah yeah I, I think it's at a crescendo though. I think it's at the highest. It's peaking, dude. Because the, there's a new uh, show called Superior Donuts. Did you see that? No. It's a comedy on uh, CBS. It's Jermaine Fowler. He's a I comic. He's it. funny. But uh, one of the, it's just terrible, hacky, fucking like two broke girls level comedy Ugh. of like race though. Yeah. So it's like an old Jewish guy runs a donut shop, and a black dude comes in. And he's like, "I'm gonna work for you, pops." Ugh. And he's like, I don't like it. He's like, you don't like anything. You're just an old man. He's like, all right, you can stick around, kid. And there's uh, oh. there's cops that come in. There's one cop, this lady cop comes in, and one of the clips is she's, like, the black dude turns his back and, like, adjusts something. He's like, see, I trust you. I just turned my back on a Chicago police officer. And she's like, I'm not going to shoot you. I have my body cam on, so I can't. Ugh. And it's like, holy fuck. Jesus Christ, You're just going to air that joke on CBS? That's tough, dude. And everyone's like, ha ha. Like, they have a laugh the track. The studio applause, like, ha ha yeah. <laughs> Like, I can't kill That's you. That's pretty fucking wild, man. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Did you hear about Always Sunny getting in trouble? No, for what? They have a new episode where they wake up, and they're just all black. Like, they're li they're not blackface. They're just played by black actors, and they're just, they're just black for the time being. And it's all about, like, gentrification, and they got, they're got under, like, heavy fire for it. <sighs> Fuck. Of course they are. Yeah. But I want to see. I, don't, I haven't seen it. It's probably it. fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's probably so funny. I'm going to watch it after this, actually. Fuck yeah. But yeah, apparently they got in a lot of... They just, like, they wake up one day and they're like, whoa, we're black. But it's black actors playing them. There's like a black Dennis, a black Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, dude, I mean, I haven't seen it. It would be hilarious. Why. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know, but fuck. Yeah. The last thing we need is to get fired up about race. Yeah. I never get it's that not, fired up. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't either. You don't just, either. I it don't is, get fired. I'm never like, white guys are the best. No, not at all. But it's. it's but there is bullshit. And it's it's like, funny oh. that there's this narrative now that like, like I got in an argument with Kyla over Planned Parenthood. Yeah. She was oh, like, old yeah. white men telling us what to do. It's like, yeah. yeah, old white men do tell us what to do. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a good point. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what this country is. Yeah, but it also is. If you don't like it, move to fucking Haiti where old black men are calling the shots. <laughs> <laughs> Go to that one great country that old black men are calling the shots. <laughs> oh, that took a negative turn. That took a real negative turn. Yeah, so spend some but, time in fucking Somalia. <laughs> dude, but the thing is, is like, it also isn't like a bunch of old white men being like, I don't like abortion. It's like. 50% of the country being like, or no, I think now yeah. it's like 43% of the country being like, I don't like that. Yeah, so. and it's, it's an odd fucking thing, because if you don't, I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. Dude, it, no, you, there's, it's, it's, that's the, uh, It's like, should know. the federal government pay for people's abortions, is the argument. Yeah. I think they should, but I get why people say they shouldn't. Yeah. Or should they, should they also, should companies profit off of abortions? 
<laughs> that's fucked. Yeah. In my in my eyes, I and wouldn't should, want to do it. If they were like, they... hey, dude, you got some investments. You can do like Oreo cookies, uh, third trimester abortion. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, <laughs> I'll invest in copper, I guess. And they'll be like, and this is where they really get you. Because then after we do the abortion, we sell the dead baby parts. <laughs> oh, God. Woo! Hell, baby. A hot cast, dude. Yeah, it is. Something for you guys to think about. We took on race and abortion at the end of there. I know. We needed to. <laughs> Finally, we said what needed to be said. <laughs> two, two white dudes. Yeah. Carrying all the world's ills. Exactly, dude. Just white splaining. You should call this the white splaining podcast, dude. It'd be tight. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, call it the white splaining. <laughs> shout out Wolfpack. Aren't you happy? You got the shout out on this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He gets fired. He's like, he fuck. Shout out on the fucking racist episode. <laughs> It'd be funny if his boss knew he was a wolf pack. That'd be so <laughs> he was funny. like, hey, hey, man. You're wolf pack from the main board. <laughs> it's not racist, though. It's not like... It's funny, because it, it is. You can't, like, even, like, be like, well, I don't think it's necessarily that. And it's like, you piece of shit. And it's like, all right, my bad. Yeah. No, I, 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 I'm i totally for Planned Parenthood. Yeah. Not totally. Totally strong. But all it took, like, ten minutes of research to be like, oh, I see... The point. There are some fucking issues here. Like they yeah. all they claimed their like prenatal care, yeah, and then they don't offer that. Like it was there's weird stuff. Yeah, then I'll be honest too. I'm not like grandstanding. I legitimately don't care about stuff that doesn't affect me. I don't care, and it's true. It's it's fucked yeah, up. It's a fucked up way be, to think. You could need that someday. You get some moon face pregnant. <laughs> hey man, get some chubby moon face. We'll you might want to send her over there. We'll take her to France or something, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'd do in that situation. What if one of the fucking tender moon faces <sighs> caught one? I would be all right with a big head. Big head having a kid. I already have a big head, so we'd have like a big smart kid. But like, you think that's how that operates? Head size, brain, head size, brain size. You have size. a big head, and you're smart, right? Yes, that's how it works. Einstein had a big ass head. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Neutron has a big ass head. <laughs> that's true. I can't argue that. <laughs> All right, man. you fucking, you're smart. No, you got decent melon on you. Uh, yeah, good melon. I hide it with a bulky. I have so much bulk, you dude. Are fucking, you can't jack. tell I got a big ass head. See, I'm skinny and have a big head, so mine sticks up. I don't know about skinny. Jacked, I'm sorry. You're, you're fucking right. jacked, jacked, fucking dude. My bad, my bad. You're right. Come on. You're thick fucking John, dude. <sighs> That's true, dude. It's you're real thick. It's fucking you're thermal. the best, dude. dude. You're the fucking best, dude. You're I don't know best. what I would do without you. If you were... Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I know Nothing. you're about to say. That's how connected we are. Exactly. And I That's take, so I, hot. And thank you for that. Do you think I was going to say if you were a chick, I'd fuck you? I thought you were like, something about blowing it's me or something. Yeah, that's kind of No, it wasn't going to be that. Oh. Damn, the fact that you knew that, I thought that. Was yeah, dude, dude, we're on a different level. Let's take it out of here, Yo, dude. play out some fucking good French right. music. We're not going to play Action Bronson this week. Yeah, man. We're going to play some hot-ass fucking music. Just something about you, me, our dude. listeners. How can, we, about. how can we not talk about family? That's all we got, dude. All we got is family. Exactly. This is a fucking family. Love y'all. Peace. Damn, dude. Yeah, quick, Another bonus track. Quick bonus track, because the song we're playing is fucking sick. Yeah. And, and it brought up a really great memory that Matt had. Go ahead and Good memory, dude. I was doing, uh, I had to go to, like, my mom has, like, a, you know, a bunch of old aunts that I can see very rarely. And uh, one of them passed. I was on the way to the funeral early in the morning. And uh, the song came on. Oh, yeah, actually, I think I specifically put it on my fucking thing, my Spotify, and just listened to it the whole way out and just fucking laughed so Dude, hard at myself for listening to this. Listening song. to this song on the way to a funeral <laughs> of somebody you don't give a fuck about is so fucking funny. <laughs> just, it was just me laughing in my car and like looking out and like, how can we not care about family? <laughs> <laughs> then I pulled into the thing. I was like, "Oh, fucking turned it down." <laughs> it was like, oh, were, were you high? Uh, I don't think so. All right, I don't think I was. All right, good. But I'm, I think I'm permastone forever, dude. I started smoking weed too early. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Goodbye. You both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and was small turned to a friendship A friendship turned to a bond and that bond will never be broken The love will never get lost 
And when brotherhood come first And the line will never be crossed Established it on our own When that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach So remember me when I'm gone How can we not talk about family When family's all that we got Everything I went through You were standing there by my side And now you're gonna be with me For the last one Let the light guide you away Yeah And every road you take will always lead you home. Oh, it's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you.